Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2020. We are here with this problem 16 of your paper. This problem is a problem of vector calculus. So let us have a look. Let S be the surface of the portion of the sphere with center at the origin and radius 4 above the xy plane. So you have a sphere with center at origin and radius 4 and you have to consider that sphere above the xy plane. Now you have a force F is given by this one and n cap is the unit normal uh, n cap is the unit norm outward normal to s then what you have to do you have to calculate this surface integral of del cross f vector dot n cap ds all right so firstly i will draw i will draw this 3d region what is given to us and then we will talk uh, later about uh, remaining things what we have to do so let us say this is your three dimensional plane all right now this is your three dimensional plane now a sphere above the xy plane on this three dimensional plane will look like okay i should change color wait so three dimensional on a three dimensional plane your sphere will look like this all right okay let me raise so let us say this is you okay so this is your sphere all right so i am just drawing hemisphere because you have only the part which is above the xy plane this is a hemisphere and it has an equation like this because it's given to you that you have a circle at origin with radius 4. now see you have to calculate this so firstly understand try to understand this figure what it is it's an open figure okay this is a this is a uh, you can say this is a hemisphere so it will have no cap what i mean by that just see this thing this is hemisphere this is the surface that you are given with okay let me draw it properly so this is the surface you are given with surface of the hemisphere so that means this part over here is empty it, it it has no cap on it all right this is an open hemisphere you can you can say you have just a bowl okay so it, it's open so wh what is my first strategy my first strategy is to just close it so let me use another ink so what i am doing currently i am just closing this thing so let us say I placed a cap on this hemisphere. All right. So this hemisphere is now consist of two part H and this cap C. All right. So we have the, these two parts now. If, if I place a cap on it, now try to see what is given in your question. All right. Now come back to your question then we will understand why I did this this thing so you have to find out del cross f vector of n cap ds all right you have to find out this you have to find out this over s now what is your reason s this h reason without the cap is the s reason that means h on h you have to evaluate this so suppose i what i do suppose i evaluate the integral del cross f dot n cap ds not over s i evaluate it over h plus c 
that means s plus c all right this h is s suppose i evaluate this over this then it will be a surface integral because this is a force all right so consider this force some other force because you are given with this force but what you have to do you have to find out the curl so consider this as some other force so you have g cap dot n cap ds on the closed surface why i did that to make this surface closed all right so now i will tell you why i am doing all of this because you know that if you have this surface integral where should i write i should write here suppose you have this surface integral or on s where s is closed then what according to the this this surface s is a closed surface then according to the gauss divergence theorem this thing is actually equal to del dot f vector dv so this is the theorem that i will be using here this theorem is a very popular theorem known as gauss divergence theorem that's why i was interested in just putting a cap over here all right so you know that h plus c is closed i i am not relating this currently to this all right so now what what according to the gauss divergence theorem you can write this as v what is this volume v volume v is the volume enclosed by the surface s as well as c okay the volume inside this so what you will get you will get divergence of v what is v you have i should write curl all right so curl of f dv this is what you will get now what do you know you know that divergence of curl is always zero so that means this integral this triple integral is actually zero because divergence of a curl is always zero all right so that's why it's zero now what you can do you can just write this h plus c this integral like this del cross f dot n cap ds over h this h is itself s i should write equal to s plus del cross f dot n cap ds over c what is this c reason the c reason is the cap on it cap on the hemisphere is equal to 0 that means the integral that you have to find out in your question this is your integral that you have to find out in your question this integral is actually equal to this integral uh, i what i can do i can just this uh, i can just shift this thing on the right hand side and by shifting it on the right hand side what i can say that okay i should not write i here because this is not i i should write here i is equal to del cross f n cap ds over h what is h h is same as s is minus times of this c so this is what we have learned so far all right so that means the integral that uh, that you are given with in your question is actually equal to the this integral that means evaluating surface integral over c is minus times of the evaluating surface integral over s now why we are doing all of this we are doing all of this because for this surface over here to find out normal vector is quite easy we already know what is the normal vector for this surface the outward normal all right now because of that we can directly write n cap over here and that will help us in the calculation part now let me erase all of this and then you will understand why it is so important all right so see this is what we have evaluated now what i told you earlier that 
to find out normal is quite easy what is that normal outward normal will be like this all right so this will be the outward normal that is minus k cap for this surface c over here this is your surface c right so for this surface c the circle part the uh, the outward normal is minus k cap that you already know therefore uh, for uh, the, therefore in this case c uh, we can write del cross f of k cap are you getting my point or not so this is what you will get now the aim is to find out del cross f what is del cross f it's actually i j k del by del x del by del y del by del z of what is f f is y minus x y x cube so see if you will find out i uh, coefficient of i cap and j cap in this then it will have no meaning because what you are doing you are dot producting it with k so everything will be zero except the kth component of this so just evaluate the kth because everything will be zero so the kth component will be minus two all right it has some ith coefficient i am not writing that it has some jth coefficient i am not writing that i am just writing kth because you will get two times of ds minus two i will write sorry sorry because n cap is not k it's actually minus k so let me write that so it's minus k so after producting you will get this 2ds all right it's minus k and you are getting minus 2 over here that's why i just place positive sign here so you got two times of ds that's is actually that's that is actually minus 2 into area of surface area of which surface area of this base what is this base this base is actually a circle circle of radius 4 for a circle of radius 4 what is the area the area is a uh, pi r square that is pi into 16 all right so what you will get finally then you you will get minus 32 of pi so now let me just uh, check my calculation then i will tell you that it is correct or not because so i have checked everything so this is your answer all right so see how easy now is to evaluate this surface integral otherwise what you have would have done you would have find out n cap for this base and it will be in x y and z term right if you will find out surface integral then you know that surface integral for this uh, normal for this will be evaluated by gradient and after evaluating normal when you will dot product it with del cross f then actually you will get a complicated integral but what i have done by just adding this hypothetical piece c onto this surface s we made it closed and using the gauss divergence theorem here we finally reduced this integral to the most simplest that we can do so the important part was not to calculate the important part was to represent everything graphically if you understand graphs for 3d then you understand everything in this vector calculus all right so this is the most important i will say please note this question down for you it will always be a reference point whenever you have to find out surface integral try to think how to, how can you use gauss divergence there theorem there if, if even if the surface is not closed so we, we finally uh, used gauss divergence theorem in the in the surface which is not even closed we made it closed and then we finally evaluated our surface integral so these are some of the important question in vector calculus and some some of the most important tricks that you can use all right so thank you